over $30 is in You can drive. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard. <laughs> Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Drivers beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. This ain't the red carpet, so get out of my uh, bed. If you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts of... I don't like. Keep out of this. You were giving me a thorough going over. I was just starting to enjoy it. This is a big scene, folks. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab.
Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? made from plaster of paris would be my first guess then painted so we can rule out the murder angle no you can rule that in that thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor whoever did it wanted these women dead we should speak to ballard again she might not be telling us the whole story We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McCaffrey. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. 
Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it, and this is where I end up. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after. My lawyer and I have talked to the news hounds. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. I thought this was such a nice area. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? KGP Alta Car 11K, 11 King. The car crash victim has regained consciousness in Central Receiving Hospital. 11K Roger, en route. Hello, Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Oh, yes. She's in the room, right behind you, Detective. You can't hold me here. No! Hello, Doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess, and there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor, detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Swapped seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. Feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels swimmy. Kid gloves when you talk to little Jessica Phelps. But anything she can remember will be useful. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. Are you feeling better?
We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective, why would I lie to you? Is it a factor? Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. And do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? This doesn't pertain to the case. I don't think this is anything. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Cole, better back it off. Ballard.
It's the tail of the...